figure out a way to stay cool over the next few days. It's a heat wave. It is. It's going to get very hot, especially by the coast where we lack air conditioning. A lot right. of these yes. coastal towns here. I remember when I moved from Florida, that was sort of something to adjust to. And yeah, get used to it because the heat is going to arrive tomorrow. It sticks around in Santa Barbara through at least the end of the week. You want to cool down, head to the coast. Look how beautiful it is by Stearns Wharf. A lot of sailboats out there enjoying the calmer winds that we're seeing tonight versus what we saw over the weekend. But still in Santa Barbara, we are expecting to see some winds out there later this evening in the form of those sundowners. They'll be picking up within the next couple of hours and staying strong through early tomorrow morning. Then as those die down, we usher in some Santa Ana winds. Those impact mostly areas from Ventura County southward. All of this is considered an offshore flow. It's not a sea breeze where it moves from the ocean to the land. It's the opposite. It moves from the land to the sea. And that usually brings in a much warmer forecast, especially this time of the year. As we look ahead, we're talking about 80s and 90s through the end of the work week. Before we talk about the heat wave, I want to talk about our current weather alerts. This right here is a wind advisory through 3 a.m. tomorrow for these parts of Santa Barbara County. Gust across the coastal plains as high as 35 to 40. I think most of it, though, is going to be out towards the foothills of the south coast. In these mountain areas, though, we could see gusts tonight up near 45 to 50. Then as those winds slow down, we see them pick up and turn to the northeast. And in Ventura County, we're talking about two solid mornings with Santa Ana winds tomorrow and again on Wednesday. Heading out the door right, right now, you'll see very comfortable temperatures. Warm in San Ynez, 79, 66 in Goleta, 69 in Santa Maria, and 64 in Lompoc. Still breezy out there for the central coast. The winds, though, have yet to pick up across uh, at least the majority of the south coast, but that will change later tonight. Quiet conditions locally, but as we look off to our east, this large and powerful low pressure system that brought us a few showers back on Friday night is spurring another round of severe weather. Tornadic supercells across Mississippi, Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, and North Carolina tonight. That threat continues through at least the next 24 hours. Here at home, we have the opposite of low pressure. That's high pressure. Our fair weather maker, as it slides inland over the next 24 to 48 hours, it's going to bring in some very hot conditions. And those winds across parts of Southern California, in fact, those winds are of the Santa Ana variety, and they come mostly out of the north and east and impact, again, locations from Ventura County southward. It's also a very dry wind, and it does increase the fire weather threat. Now, for the time being, there are no fire weather watches, nor red flag warnings, and that might be because of the recent rainfall, but if that does change, of course, we'll keep you posted. Tomorrow's temperatures into the 80s across the south coast, 87 for Orcutt tomorrow, topping out at 86 in Santa Maria, 90 in Atascadero, and 91 degrees tomorrow in Paso Robles. Santa Barbara seven-day forecast, those 80s are sticking around through Friday, but Wednesday into Thursday look to be the hottest days. And then we cool down pretty sharply by the upcoming weekend as high pressure weekends and allows for that sea breeze to return. And that sea breeze is what really keeps us so comfortable here across southern and central California. Santa Maria will top out at 90 degrees on Thursday, 91 on Thursday in San Luis Obispo. That could be the day when records fall across the forecast area. And in San Inez, it just goes up and up and up. Beth and CJ, we're talking about 96 in the valleys as we head towards Thursday. And I think some of those valleys, maybe Paso, Ojai, could see 100. I was going to say, just